Hi ladies, it's me Betsy. I'm super excited about today's post because we have a fun challenge at the end, so get ready. Um, today's post is about booking a full calendar, how to book parties. First of all, if this is your launch party, hooray, I'm so excited for you. Make sure you follow other parties. We have a mock 10-day Facebook party document in our files that you can follow your sponsor. We're here to help you and cheer you on. I'm so excited to have you join our team. Woohoo! Okay, let's say you've launched your party and now you're like, what do I do? How do I book parties? Or you've been doing this for months and kind of your friends have done it. And so you're like, how do I book parties? Okay, first of all, let's talk what not to do. Okay. Don't just rely on posting on your personal timeline. Hey, I'm booking parties for September. Contact me if you um, are interested or even on your Facebook page, your, phys your Jamberry Facebook page. Hey ladies, you love your jams. I'm booking parties here. Here the balloon popping thing or choose a number, book a party, win a prize. Okay. Those are great. And you can definitely book parties from those. I mean, it's possible, but that has not been very effective with me. I think I've gotten one party booked from doing that in 10 months. Okay, so you've got to do personal connection with people. They need to be invited by you to do this with them. Okay, human nature. If somebody for another product that I love just posted that on Facebook, even if I loved the product, I don't have time. I need someone to initiate with me and basically lay it on my plate and show me how easy it is to do. That leads into our next thing is you have to help people visualize what it looks like in their life, their busy, busy, busy life to host a party. Most people, who knows what they're thinking, but they're thinking home party and they're thinking, I got to have food. I got to have a clean house. I got to ship my kids out to the babysitter with the husband and then it's going to go late and then it's a school night and they're going to blah 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 okay so home parties are great and they're super fun and definitely go for the gold of booking those because we usually have higher sales at those but most of us we do facebook parties i have done three home parties in my entire 10 month career with jamberry three and i've done i'd say pretty well Okay, I'm, and I do all Facebook parties. Okay, so one way that has been effective for me getting parties is helping people visualize what it looks like for them, sending them a personal message. So this is what I do. I find someone, I message, I text, I call them. Okay, people aren't going to be bothered with you asking them. That's one thing you need to just pull out of your brain, that I'm going to bother someone by asking them. They don't care. Okay, what bothers them is you kept asking them over and over and over again. And when you're posting, oh, book a party with me, book a party with me, book a party with me 50 million times in the month of September on your Facebook wall, they're going to quickly hide you. Okay, do that once in a while because sure, you may get a party, but don't overload your personal timeline with Jamberry stuff. Okay, that turns people off. It's like the Candy Crush people, like constantly invite you to play. I'm like, no, I end up like, blocking people who I don't want to see that all the time, okay? So they may love Jamberry. They may be a loyal customer, but they just don't want to see it all the time in their Facebook page. So don't abuse our social media avenue here, okay? Okay, next, how do I ask? You are asking people to host for you, but don't phrase it in a way that makes them feel like they're doing you a favor because they may love you and they may want to do a favor for you, but their lives are busy. And why are you asking them to host a party? What can they get out of it? They're going to get amazing, cute nail wraps. Oh my gosh, I love my nail wraps. These are the cutest thing. We're in this business for a reason. We are here because we love the product. So share your enthusiasm. Your potential hostess must know exactly what the product is and how amazing it is. So you need to say, hey Jenny, it's Betsy. I love seeing your family vacay from Mackinac Island this summer. I hope you had a great time. Um, I know that you had were, had interest in Jamberry Nails, so I'm putting a free sample in the mail right now. And I wanna send it to you. And if you're interested, no pressure, but if you're interested, I'd love to host a Facebook party with you. Say with you, you know, so they know that they're not just doing something random by themselves. And what can you get out of this? You can earn 
up to like over, you could potentially earn over $100 of free product. You could say you could earn a ton of free product and um, all that it's required, all that's required of you, what your investment is, is five minutes a day, enthusiasm and inviting your Facebook friends. So that's it. I do all the work. We create an event on Facebook and you um, can earn lots of free, super cute nail wraps, or even offer to be like, Hey, I can send you a catalog if you're interested, or here's my link. Okay. What help them visualize what it looks like in their schedule. Okay. I have five minutes a day. All right. Oh, for eight days. Sure. I can do that. And I can just get stuff for free. I don't even have to buy it. Nope. You don't even have to buy it. You can earn free product. Okay, so if, if someone phrases it like that for me, I'm going to be a lot more likely to say yes than, hey, host an, host an online Facebook party for me. It's really easy. I do all the work. That's good, but I don't know what really easy means. Really easy can still mean like a lot of work, even though you said you do all the work. Just tell them exactly what their requirement and investment is. And I bet you'll have people say yes when they hear it. it's just five minutes a day, super easy, and they can get all these cute nail wraps for free. Have them send them be like, hey, what would your wish list be? I can even send you something, you know, for free for booking um, a party with me. That's something you could do. It's optional. So we have all sorts of incentives to do. Okay, so key things to take away from this video is personal connection, personal text, personal messages with people. They have to be invited by you. Initiate with them. Lay it on their plate. Help them see just how easy it is and just what it requires of them to do. Okay, and then leave it open-ended. No pressure. It'll be super fun. Let me know if this sounds like something you want to do. I'm ready to start whenever. You can add that in there. Okay, we can get it started within a day. So that are those are some tips that I recommend for booking parties. A lot of us just aren't asking. And I feel like some of us can even be in denial. Like, oh, I'm trying. Are you really trying? Are you? Okay, preaching to the choir here. I'm like, I have one party booked this month. And I'm like, oh, I need to book some more parties. But guess what? I haven't messaged anyone this month. So right now I am doing the lipstick toe challenge to all of you. Okay, so you have the next 24 hours to do the lipstick toe challenge, which I'm going to demonstrate, or you need to try to book five parties. And I need you all to pull up the 89 ways to book a full calendar document in our files tab. And there are scripts right there for you that you can use to message, call, or text people. So you either have to do the lipstick toe challenge or you need to message five people personally in the next 24 hours to book a party. Okay, here we go. Lipstick in the toes. Here we go, people. The brighter, the better. And then you need to nominate all your first generation recruits. So I hereby nominate all my first generation recruits and I am going to tag your lovely selves in this post. So get ready girls, it's time to book some parties.